Hi guys, um, welcome to Cool People TV. Um, this is my channel. My name is Rin, and uh, today I would like to teach you a little bit about some stocks and what's going on right now during the coronavirus pandemic. Start offing with um, let's start off with. I'll give you a recap on the coronavirus, right? Um, it's been about a month now, I believe, since the big, big drop. Um, here, I'll just go to three months to show you, show you some things. Okay. Um, so, give me a second here, guys. Okay. Here you go, right? This is what's been going on. The market's been going really good until Trump decided to say, hey, we're going to shut down the country because um, coronavirus is getting really out of hand. Boom. You got this big drop, major drop. Right. And and then, um, you know, it's been really volatile right, right around here somewhere. And this is where we're at right now. OK. So. Um, yeah. So let me go back. go back real quick boom <clears throat> okay so from there i'm gonna go to the five day time frame to give you the more detailed look at what's been going on this week right this week let's see what happened this week um this week um trump decided mind you right we've already dropped from 29,000 points to 22,000 points 22,000 points right and we're at right here so we were right here and we dropped already right and um at this point right here Trump does decide to announce that uh, there's going to be 100,000 to 250,000 deaths from the coronavirus, right? So, from that, this last Tuesday, um, we woke up to a Wednesday that was boom, right? And then during during the market on Wednesday, during market hours on Wednesday, it dropped even more, boom, Right? And a lot of people, I think a lot of people buying right here. I bought right there. Um, but, and, and, you know, I think if you were really good, you would buy right there. Um, in the past couple of days, which is uh, Thursday and Friday, which is, uh, you you basically if you got down here on Wednesday you want to recover you know the market always recover whether or not you know once it's a red day the next day is going to be green that's how I look at it right so if you were to buy right here the next day boom you will make your money right here right and then if, if you saw that peak and you made your money that's good right you see another drop boom went back right and Friday morning same thing boom you got your money up there so what happened friday which is today uh after it peaked right cool thing about today is that tesla your boy elon musk was able to deliver his cars on time right the model three and so you know uh I'm not sure what kind of money you would make because a lot of people probably bought his stocks up here, <laughs> you know, but I think people were able to, I pulled out, I know I pulled out right there. So if anything, I made, you know, I, I recovered some of my, my money and I'm probably going to put it into something else, but I'll tell you what I'm going to put it into just about, just in a little bit. But, um, anyway, so after, after. Um, after it recovered, um, earlier today, probably like afternoon time ish, 
um, it it dropped right before the closing of the market, right? And that's that's where we see it right now. We're we're right right here. I mean, it's gonna recover it again. So Monday, Monday is always a red day. It's it's probably gonna show. It's probably gonna go up. Uh, actually, it's probably. I don't. It might recover, but I doubt it. Right. So. Uh, I'm gonna buy into some 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 big banks. Right. Um, I'm gonna buy into some Wells Fargo. I'm gonna buy into, um, J J P Morgan, Citibank, Bank of America, all the good big banks out there in the U S. And the reason why is because their earnings are coming up. Right. So I got me some contracts and I got me some underlying shares and I'm waiting for for two weeks from now. Right. Um, I wanted to buy some today. It was right here. But I know Monday is a red day, so I'm waiting for Monday to either go down a little bit more. Or I'll just buy it, you know. Buy it where it's at right there and just kind of watch it throughout the day. Because if it drops some more, you know, I'll, I'll be able to get a lower price. Um, <clears throat> in any case, I think it's a good time to buy. I think some of the, the prices um, for, for for these uh, companies, these bank companies, they're already bombed, bottomed out. I don't think they can go any lower. Unless they're, I don't know, I don't think they can go any lower. But, you know, I could be wrong, right? But even if you got it right here, I think, you know... Your best bet that is going to be some really good bargain buy right there. Um, so, yeah, there you go. I already told you what I'm going to buy, right? And so I'm setting myself up for two weeks from now, which is uh, April 15th. That's when they're going to do their earning calls. And uh, I believe, right, from my speculations, right, I believe that the market will start recovering after Monday. So after Monday, it'll it'll just slowly find its way back up. Yes, during during the the massive uh, death toll, even during the massive death toll, my prediction is it's gonna slowly rise back up, right? Then and then by by the by the second week of April, which is um, at the end of the the death toll, right? You're gonna see you're gonna see a, a major boost in the in the market. Um, because, you know, the, the COVID people, I mean, the death toll, people are recovering, everything's going to get all better. Right. And then the market has no choice but to go up. But the crazy thing about that is mind you, right. You guys got to know that big banks, big bank has earning calls on four fifteen. Don't forget that date. That's where going to be your money is. Okay, guys, so that's my predictions. Go ahead and buy your stocks now. Um, Monday, 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 end of day, you know, or, or wherever you see it dropped out the bottom, out the lowest. Um, I don't think it's going to go any lower than what it is right there. It's right there for, for the big banks. Just uh, Just a thought. So anyway... Um, that's going to be my pre big prediction, right? So, um, always put your money on Tesla. Always, uh, look for, look for, uh, lowest points and, um, go ahead. You can use my, my advice tips to make your own, uh, Make your own uh, uh, investments, and uh, and just a little bit of disclaimer: none of this stuff. You know, I'm, I can't I can't guarantee anything, but if you you know want to trust that, that I can give you some good financial uh, financial advice on your on your money, then um, then that's it, man. So if you like what I told you like my tips, liked everything about what I do, right? Go ahead and subscribe to me. Even though this is 
one of my first real uh, tutorial type of videos. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Cool People TV. Bye.